Hi, this is Danny Vieira, and we just finished another Bella Vita program. And I'm sitting here with Jessica and Ian, and they're both Chinese, right? Yes. They live in San Francisco, and they work on the psychiatric ward at San Francisco General Hospital. And they both came to Bella Vita. Actually, Jessica heard about us from her Gerson doctor and you were saying that you weren't having the results that you wanted and he suggested that you go on a parasite cleanse, mm -hmm. right? Yes. And so you got some of our products mm -hmm. and then as you were speaking to my secretary, Sylvia, that um, you said, I want to come to your, your place where you come and stay 10 days. Is, this, uh, is that right? Yes. Yes. And so you talked your friend into coming. Yes. Right? Yes. yes. And she didn't know what to expect. No, she did not know yeah. anything. She so, just came. <laughs> I just believed her. <laughs> she just believed her. So they came to Bella Vita, and, and it wasn't till several days later, when I was doing a cold sheet treatment with Jessica, that she said she was atheist. And that surprised me, because I didn't know if you were a Christian or not. I had never asked. And, and then, was it the next day I did a cold sheet yeah. on in, and she is basically agnostic, and she said, I've never accepted a religion in my life. But I just want to share a little bit about this, because to me this was so amazing how God worked and the Holy Spirit worked, because in that cold sheet treatment, Jessica and in had never prayed before in their life. Is that right? Never prayed, never no. believed in a God. No. Never thought you were going to come to this place to do parasite cleanse <laughs> and meet Jesus. That's right. Just tell us, tell, tell the people there a little bit about that moment when we were in that cold sheet treatment and you said, I'm an atheist. And you want healing, right? Mm -hmm. And so I will... I want you to know the healer. Mm -hmm. So share just a little bit in your own words about that time where you, you, you accepted God in your life and Jesus as your personal savior for the very first time. Well, that was my second day um, when I got my Koshi tr uh, treatment. And um, even though after two days of listening to Denny's uh, teaching on God, um, I was not, uh, well, I, I understand what he was saying, but I kind of like, uh, okay. Um, so <laughs> it, it, it was a, uh, a moment that when we are uh, in the Koshi treatment, um, I was kind of like uh, pausing, not, not sure what, what to believe at the moment. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> Uh, very peaceful feeling in me, and um, then he was very, very good and genuine and explaining to me, and I believe in God and opened my heart to Jesus. And uh, from that moment, I feel really pre um, peaceful inside me and very relaxing throughout the treatment and all these days, and I've been a benefit from um, the teaching spiritually, emotionally, physically, and I'm a new person. Thank you, Thank you very oh, much, Dennis. That is Thank so you. nice. And, and an important question that I want to ask you. Okay. Do you think that that, that that time when you met Jesus, was this just like, oh, it seems like the right thing to do right now, but it's going to fade away? and and you're going to go back to believing nothing? What do you think? No, actually not. Actually, the, after the treatment, I went back to my room, and I kept thinking about my past experience in my life. There were many times that things happened that I could not understand why it, the, the end result was so good, uh, given the uh, condition and the situation at the time. And so, I've thought it's just the, that's the way it is, but then I've, I thought about it later. I said, like, there must be somebody 
doing it for me. So who else? It's God. So from that moment, I really, I firmly believe there's a God. There is no turnaround. There is, that's the only direction I'm going. I'm proud of you. That's awesome. Thank you. I think that's, that's absolutely beautiful. And do you remember in the cold sheet treatment where you said, I want a miracle? Yes. And what did I say? <laughs> you said that the miracle is only um, done by God, not by you. And you were doing it because you the like a messenger and you're doing it because Jesus is there and you just do it for Jesus. You love Jesus. Yes, I do. And yeah. you were next. And I didn't know if you were a Christian or not, but since I had learned that she was an atheist, mm -hmm. that when you were in there and you started to share that your mother was Buddhist mm -hmm. and you never believed in any religion, you never prayed, and I said, here we go again. Mm -hmm. And you know, for me, it's, it's, it was like, God was saying to me, just take her and introduce her to Jesus, right? And I would tell the basic story about Jesus coming, being born of a woman, leaving heaven, and that he came to save us yeah. from, from our sins, to save us from our sins, right? Yeah. That's and beautiful. How, and she said that. Exactly what she said in the cold sheet treatment was, that's beautiful. You did. Remember that? Yeah. What was going on in your heart? Wow, that's sacrificing. That spirit, I couldn't explain. I just inspired me. It's, I have to believe God. Yeah. Was it hard? No, not hard. It's natural, I, I think. I accept God, yeah, because the sacrificing spirit. And yeah. and the next day, you have a Bible in your hand. Have you ever held Bibles in your hand before? No, I. Maybe, uh, but I never really read it. Mm -hmm. I don't like. Uh, like other language. <laughs> yeah, it's like know. another language. It's all Greek. <laughs> Yeah. And then I gave you each a little book, Steps to Christ. Mm -hmm. You've been reading that? Yeah. What Bad time think? reading. Bad time. <laughs> <laughs> because the whole day long is so busy with your program. <laughs> yeah. So we have to catch it up at night. <laughs> Did you ever in a million years think that you were going to come here and find Jesus? No. That's not on my imagination. <laughs> no. Did you? Million, million years? <laughs> <laughs> it's an expression that it's the last thing you expected kind oh. of like. So, so when I started talking about the Bible and God and Jesus when you first got here, what was going on in your mind? Did you say, oh, what did you tell me? You didn't know it was going to be quite this way? Well, I, I came here expecting cleansing. <laughs> you got it, sister. You got the spiritual cleansing as well. <laughs> because I outlined that the, uh, the booklet, it never say anything about that. So. <laughs> did, it, did it alarm you at all at first? It was natural, yeah. the way that you presented God. And you are so genuine. And I can see through your talk and your emotion is real. I will never doubt it. And you did it so perfect. And I remember saying that you were the chosen one to do this work. Nobody else can do a better job than what you've been doing. Well, I believe there's divine appointments and I believe he brought both of you here. God had chosen me to present the gospel to you both at that given time right yes at that given time some one last thing I want to ask you you said that part of the reason 
or a main part of the reason that you were believing that there was a God was because of my stories. Yes, yeah, so you have so many stories that yeah. are unbelievable. Wow, you have so many stories. <laughs> oh, it's true. Yeah, well, only God can do those things. So you saw the Lord in my testimony? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I firmly the... believe that you, you tell the truth. I appreciate that so much. I always want to be known as a person who speaks the truth. Mm -hmm. yeah. So bless yeah. you both. Thank you. I, I'm so excited for your, your new journey with the Lord. And um, praise his holy name, huh? Yes. God bless you both. Thank you. Thank you.